Hey, this is Sahan from Details Pro. Uh, I'm really excited to show you the features in this new update. The features are basically all about folders and organization. So I'm gonna show you how to create folders, how to use them, and just a couple other tips and tricks that have come through in this update. So right off the bat, you're gonna see this new section over here in the sidebar called folders. Uh, on the iPhone, it's gonna be on that first screen. And any folders you create will show up here. So you see I've got a bunch of folders already for my stuff. Um, you can create a folder anytime. You can create an unlimited number of folders. It's not limited whether you are a free user or a paid user. You can just make as many as you want. Um, you just start by hitting new folder and you give it a name. So I'm going to make a folder actually with an emoji, which is super cool that this is possible. So here's a few emoji. There's a new folder. So folders are by themselves empty. You can put files in them, whether you create a file. So if I start a new file while I'm in this folder, you'll see it shows up there. You can also add folders into folders. So now when I go into my emoji folder, there's a folder called my new folder. Um, that's kind of a boring name. So I'm gonna rename that to um, maybe like a star. Where's the star? Boom. So yeah, so you can have as many levels of folders as you want. Um, I really wanted to include that because I know some people really love doing organization in a very specific way. I didn't want to limit that. Um, so yeah, so those are how you go around your folders, create them. You can delete them by holding down and hitting delete. Same thing over here. You know, you can do all that. So let's talk about designs and how you put designs into folders. So I showed you how you can add them in when you start them, but if you've got a bunch already, all you gotta do is find the designs you wanna move and you can use the new multiple selection feature. So you just hit select, pick a few, and then you can hit move or delete. There's a cool new feature I'm gonna come back to with delete in a second, but if I just hit move, you'll see this beautiful menu pop out with all your folders. There's the emoji one. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that. I'm gonna hit move here. And now they are all in there. There they are. So designs can only be in a single folder at a time. Um, I might add the like a tags feature later so you can tag a single design with multiple tags and see them. But um, for now, folders is what we've got. So when you see your file in a folder, it'll only be in that, for, uh, in that folder. It will also still show up in recent if it's a recent design. It will also still show up in the designs page, which is every design that you've got. So that's pretty cool. The other thing that's new is a recently deleted feature. So basically with this, when you delete a file, it doesn't actually go away permanently. It goes into like a trash and you can go in there anytime and then permanently delete it or bring it back. So this should just give you some peace of mind. You can you know organize your workspace uh, delete designs that you don't need anymore and rest assured that you didn't accidentally delete it. You really have to tap like four confirmations to get rid of a design. So I'll just show you how that works with uh, screen redesign and Safari iOS 15. I'm going to go boom, boom, and then I'm going to hit delete. I get this message saying it's been moved to recently deleted. I say, okay. And now when I go into recently deleted, you can see I've got a bunch of stuff waiting to go but there is screen redesign and Safari iOS 15. So I can go ahead and tap those. I can delete them, which will get a confirmation here. I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna restore them and just bring them back. Two files have been restored. So now when I pop over here, there they are. So yeah, so I really hope you enjoy these new features. So there's folders, recently deleted. Um, oh, and also I didn't show you, I think I showed you, you can move files into folders. Oh, yeah, I showed you that. You can also do it like this on a single one, move to folder, same menu. So yeah, I hope this helps you organize your designs. I would love to hear any feedback you have. This is a brand new feature that I've been working on for a little while, but um, I really appreciate when you reach out and let me know like how you feel about it and how it's helping you or hurting you. Uh, and I've got a great list of new features that I'm working on that's basically all come from feedback. So I do read every email, would love to hear from you. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have a great time designing with this new update and can't wait to make the next video. Have a great day.